Well, hey guys, get excited. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five anti-aging skincare products that I discovered throughout 2022. Y'all really seem to be enjoying the best of 2022 series so far. A brand that I discovered this year, Beauty of Joseon. They have a retinaldehyde eye cream. Yes, I know, what eye cream? This product has retinaldehyde in it. Retinaldehyde is a form of vitamin A that when applied to the skin, like other forms of vitamin A, can help improve wrinkles and fine lines by boosting up collagen production. It's also helpful for lightening sunspots, age spots, and for improving the visible signs of skin aging. Now what's unique about retinaldehyde is that when you put it on your skin, your skin only has to do one thing to it to get it to the active form. As opposed to other cosmetic forms of vitamin A, namely retinol, OL, your skin needs to do two things. Now both ingredients are effective for improving the visible signs of skin aging, but retinaldehyde probably gets you there a little bit faster. While there are a ton of products on the market with retinol, OL, retinaldehyde, it's not as widely available. Sure, there are products out there that exist that I have recommended before and still recommend, and it can be an expensive ingredient to pursue. The Beauty of Joseon Retinaldehyde Eye Serum is $11.49 right now on Stylevana, which is a pretty good deal. And you don't just have to use it around the eyes, you can actually use it to the rest of your face. It's formulated to be well tolerated around the delicate skin of the eyes, but you can also use it to the rest of the face. Now, in addition to the retinaldehyde, this also has palmid oil tripeptide 5. What is that? Palmid oil tripeptide 5, it's a peptide, and the company that makes this peptide did some studies, industry studies, bear in mind, nothing peer reviewed, showing that this particular peptide when applied to the skin improved elasticity, skin firmness, and participants in their study noted a decrease in pore size. Take everything from industry studies with a grain of salt. Again, it's not peer reviewed or anything of that sort. Peptides and skincare products, kind of nice to have there, not necessary. At any rate, they probably are mostly acting as humectants to what extent they actually do the things that the companies claim they do, uh, who knows, but they can help improve the moisture content of the top layers of the skin and ultimately that's going to support the natural exfoliation processes of your skin barrier. Speaking of skin barrier, this also has ceramide and pea. Ceramides are lipids naturally present in your skin barrier and with age, those levels can start to decline as well as in certain dry skin conditions, applying them topically can help improve the health of the moisture barrier and stimulate your body to make more of its own ceramides. This has niacinamide, which is an antioxidant that is helpful for redness, hyperpigmentation, and has some possible anti-aging benefit, fighting off oxidative stress. And it's also been shown to be helpful for oily and acne prone skin. I like this product so much, I also recommended it in my best budget skincare of 2022, so make sure you check that video out if you missed it. Skincare companies like to make everyone believe that exfoliating products are an essential, and truthfully, they're not. Your skin, surprise, surprise, naturally exfoliates on its own. However, in certain dry skin conditions, as well as with aging, the rate at which our skin exfoliates on its own kind of can get a little slow. That can result in dry, rough patches, uneven skin texture, and a tendency towards dry skin. Incorporating a chemical exfoliant can help improve not only the smooth smoothness and skin texture, but ultimately it can help your uh, stratum corneum, the top layer, hold onto water better by using uh, chemical exfoliants, namely alpha hydroxy acids. CeraVe Skin Renewing Nightly Exfoliating Treatment. I really like this. I find it to be a very versatile product and that it can help a variety of skin issues, namely in the realm of anti-aging. It definitely can improve skin texture, smoothness, and it can help in lightening sunspots. It has glycolic acid and lactic acid. Both of those are alpha hydroxy acids that can gently exfoliate, smoothing everything out, help soften any rough texture, and also can help improve moisture content in the top layers of the skin. When the moisture content in the top layers, the stratum corneum is improved, everything looks smoother and everything acts happier. Hydrated skin is happier, healthier, more radiant skin. Now you have to be careful when it comes to exfoliating products with alpha hydroxy acids. They can be a little bit too aggressive, a little bit too irritating. And for some people, especially those with a deeper skin tone, that kind of irritation can put you at risk for 
uh, hyperpigmentation. This product is formulated to be very gentle. It's actually meant to be used on a nightly basis if tolerated. Now, as a reminder, alpha hydroxy acids, they do make your skin a bit more sensitive to the sun. So just make sure that you are protecting your skin from the sun by wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen every day, not sunbathing, seeking shade, wearing a hat, all of those things you should be doing regardless of if you use this product or not. It's also got ceramides in it. Anything by CeraVe by default is gonna have the three essential ceramides, which again, when applied to the skin, can help improve the health of the moisture barrier. And it also has a, a licorice root extract, and that's going to be helpful for redness as well as hyperpigmentation. You can use it nightly if tolerated, apply to a clean face, and make sure you avoid getting it around your eyes and around the corners of your mouth. It can be too irritating in those areas. A product from Timeless, their Q10 Serum. Q10, or ubiquinone, is an antioxidant that's present in the top layers of our skin, the stratum corneum. With age, as well as with exposure to environmental stressors, levels of Q10 decline in the skin. Applying it to the skin, and actually can get in, because it's lipid loving, uh, so it can actually get into at least the stratum corneum and help improve the levels of Q10. Why do we care about that? Well, having antioxidants may help in mitigating the burden of damage that occurs upon exposure to environmental stressors that generate free radicals that damage DNA, protein, lipids are collagen and contribute to early onset signs of skin aging. So using an antioxidant serum, it may help in slowing all of that down. I say may because this is a type of product where it's a bit of delayed gratification. You just have to have faith that the antioxidant benefit is there. But in addition to the antioxidant ubiquinone, this also has Matrixyl 3000. Coming back to peptides, Matrixyl 3000 is actually two peptides. One is a collagen fragment. There's the idea there is that by putting it on the skin, it will stimulate collagen repair and regeneration pathways. Ultimately, that can have a wrinkle smoothing effect. The other one allegedly has an anti-inflammatory effect. Again, whether or not these actually get into your skin and affect these types of changes, you're relying largely on industry studies. At any rate, again, peptides and skincare, they don't appear to hurt, and they do help in improving the moisture content, which ultimately is going to help, again, give your skin a more radiant, smoother, healthier look, and just help things move along at a happy pace in terms of exfoliating. Speaking of moisture content, the Timeless Serum also has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that can help improve the moisture content of the top layers of the skin. Really enjoyed this. It took me a while to make my way through it. I would apply it first thing in the morning after cleansing to a clean face while the skin was still a bit damp the idea to enhance penetration, uh, allow it to absorb dry so that my face was no longer wet, and then put sunscreen on over it. You don't wanna put sunscreen on over wet skin or still damp product, it won't set up. Make sure you take it down to your neck as well, and you don't need very much. I only used three drops of this product. Those of you who watched my vlog, you saw me apply this in every single vlog while I was using it. Just three drops, it lasts a long time. Now we can't talk about anti-aging without some discussion around sun protection, it is key. Most of early onset skin aging, accelerated skin aging, you can blame you can blame the sun for. Protecting your skin from the sun is the most proactive anti-aging thing you can do. And it's not just about vanity, think about it as longevity, minimizing the risk of skin cancer. Sunscreen has been shown to reduce your risks of getting skin cancers when used correctly and along with other sun protective behaviors. This year, Eucerin, I don't know if it was this year or towards the end of last year, new to me this year at least, Eucerin came out with some facial sunscreen. Age Defense Sunscreen with Hyaluronic Acid SPF 50. I really enjoyed this product. Uh, it's a chemical sunscreen, it didn't leave a cast. A word of warning, it does burn a bit around the eyes. Not so much for me, but I got that feedback from a lot of people. Uh, I really liked this, I liked the way it looked. It was moisturizing, gave my skin a nice healthy glow. Uh, again, no cast. It also has uh, licorice root extract, which is an antioxidant, and it's also helpful for redness and hyperpigmentation. So it's really gonna help you out in fighting against sunspots. And it has sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid, ultimately 
that ingredient can help improve the moisture content of the skin, really gave the skin a nice luminous glow, not greasy, not oily, at least in my opinion, didn't make me look shiny. It had almost a demi matte like finish to it. And if you uh, enjoy wearing cosmetics, makeup, makeup goes on over this quite well. There was no issue with any pilling whatsoever. Uh, it really was a good daily facial sunscreen. But yeah, this was one of my favorites from 2022. And last but not least is a product that I think would make a great nighttime facial moisturizer for anyone looking to improve skin texture, moisture content, and skin firmness. It's a very simple yet underrated ingredient, and that is urea, a Xeroid Richinic 5% Urea Face Cream. I tried out a lot of uh, facial products with urea this year, reviewed a bunch of them, liked them all. This is the one that I I guess I liked the most because I, I, I repurchased it and used it again. Honorable mention to a product from Eucerin as well. That was a 5% urea facial cream. But the Rachinic one, uh, the Xeroid Rachinic, not only does it have 5% urea, which, oh wait, what is urea again? Is that urine? No. <laughs> urea is naturally present in your skin. It's one of your skin's natural moisturizing factors. It has hygroscopic properties that help with improving the moisture content of the strata corneum ultimately that facilitates the barrier recovery and natural exfoliation processes helping your skin to stay smooth hydrated glowy supple moisturized urea is also really helpful for improving skin texture because it helps soften and exfoliate gently dry skin so if you've got keratosis pilaris on the face as a side note i love these urea facial creams for that reason it can sting a bit if you have very sensitive skin so be aware of that this particular product also has some antioxidants that come from one of my favorite ingredient families, Centella. Centella is a plant, the Asiatic pennywort. It's got a variety of compounds that are frequently used in skincare, maticasoside. These compounds are antioxidants. They can help with recovery of the barrier. They can help fight off oxidative stress upon exposure to environmental stressors. Having antioxidants on board can really help in the recovery processes, provided you are making sure to not skip out on sleep, which is super duper important for anti-aging and for total body health. When I say anti-aging, I'm really talking about longevity, keeping things healthy and functional as long as possible. I'm not talking about trying to look 17 your entire life. In addition to the 5% urea and the centella stuff, this also has panthenol, which is very nice for the moisture barrier. It's soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, and this has sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid. Again, that's gonna help with the moisture content. I mean, you really get a lot in this product. I was able to tolerate this around my eyes too, without any problem, like as an under eye, crow's feet area type of thing. This and the Timeless Q10 serum, actually, I was able to use around the eye area, no problem. Obviously, the beauty of Joseon retinaldehyde product is intended to be used around the eyes. The use for an age defense sunscreen, while you do need to be wearing sunscreen around your eyes, a word of warning, this one might burn and sting around that, that area. The CeraVe uh, nighttime exfoliating treatment is the only one that you definitely want to 100% avoid around your eyes. But the rest of them you can use to target crow's feet, um, fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes as well. All right, y'all, those are my top five anti-aging products from 2022. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know in the comments if you discovered any anti-aging favorite this year. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my best budget skincare of 2022 video. I'll have it up on the end slate. I also have all of these best of 2022 videos saved in a playlist. So if you wanna come back and reference them in the future, they'll all be cataloged together. But if you guys enjoyed enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.